my god, wow. Come here and try it. <laughs> We're Oscar and Dan, two boys from Sweden trying to see as much of the world as possible while we're young. This year, we're challenging ourselves to visit 100 countries before the end of the year. In 2018, we lived in South Korea for university, and in our previous video, we showed part one of our trip back to our former home with our two amazing friends, Kaisa and Amira. This video is part two of our trip, and it starts just north of Seoul with my beautiful morning voice. Ah, today is a very exciting day. It's beautiful out, finally a bit less hot, <laughs> which is good for the activity we're doing. If you follow us on Instagram, I think you know what we're about to do, because I think we've mentioned this hike that we're doing today a little too often, and you might be tired of us talking about it, but it is literally one of our favorite hikes in the world, if not our absolute favorite. It's called Bukhansan, and it's located just a little bit outside of Seoul. And we've done a few different routes uh, on this hike, but today we're doing our favorite one. It is a bit hard to find, but uh, I'm gonna show you the bus stop you need to go to. This is the ID of the bus stop, and uh, then you continue a bit up, and you're ready to go. For now, we feel fresh, don't we? <laughs> Excited, energetic. <laughs> so we'll see how we feel once we get to the top. Wow, the volume. It's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> right now, we are here and we're going up past this gate and we're going all the way up to Begonde Peak. So we're starting at about 100 meters and we're going up to over 800. Yay! I felt like it was so cool down there. <laughs> now we're just dying. We look like such city kids with this shit too. Oh my god, I see a lot of mosquitoes by the camera. So yeah, I know, they're right. We need to get there. high altitude. This is like literally a lifesaver right now though. Ah, thank you, Korea, for thinking of literally everything. How are we doing, team? Let's... We are literally melting. And eaten oh, alive. Evidently, we've never done this hike in the summer before. It's always been in the fall. This is crazy. <laughs> There's mosquitoes everywhere. But it's pretty. It's hot. It's still pretty, but wow. Come on, Kaisa. Hippity hoppity. Hippity hoppity. Take us the Norwegian. I suggest when you go up mountain, you bring this cold mountain blast. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't have blast, you only have uh, pain and torture. <laughs> Oh my god, I have a spider on me, I think. Anyway, we made it up to, to the gate, which is like, oh, I need to catch my breath. What we see as like the first stop on the hike. In our minds, we thought it was gonna be like a 30 minute hike, but it's been more like an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> so just so you know. But unfortunately, it's under restoration at the moment. So can't really show you how beautiful it is. Okay, we stopped for a bit by the gate, and now we have three kilometers we left. so refreshed. Honestly, yeah. new people. New people, hi. The cast was replaced. Arnold! Hi, hey, hey, Arnold! <laughs> No one in the world is more prepared for a hike than Korean aunties and uncles. Do you feel unprepared in comparison? I feel rather naked in comparison. <laughs> <laughs> But we were saying that even though it's very tiring, somehow it's a completely different type of tiring than walking around in the city. And this feels like at the end of it, somehow you're still more energized, which doesn't make sense since you've been so active. But somehow walking around a mall makes me more exhausted. <laughs> okay. We almost made it up, guys. Whew. Now starts the real fun part. The dragging our way up. <laughs> She's like, I'd like to show you this home. It's a four bedroom in the Three Bukhansan bad, Hills. One pool, <laughs> very rare in this area. Very private. It's quite a path to get there. And also like the layout is really smart, so you maximize the space. Also look at these hardwood tiles. Oh, marble from Italy, Carrera, of course. <laughs> this is easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Last time we were here at this exact point, we did it with my mom. Oh, that was not last time, but one of the last times. And she's so scared of heights. So she just saw it here and then she was like, Go on without me. No, you need to clutch onto the uh, to the rock. That's what she did. She was like, leave me. And we're just like, mom, you're already up. Might as well go to the top. She very unwillingly came with us. Wow, the steepness. Okay, this is getting actually crazy. 
I think I've forgotten how steep it was. It is steepness personified. Okay, the end is in sight. We can do this. Ah, oh, and we have officially made it. Woo! Use your last store of energy. My god, wow. Woo! 836 meters. Wow. Magical moment up on Bukansan. So beautiful here. And I think the reason we love it so much is because it's the perfect mix between nature view and city view. This is when you realize how huge Seoul is. In the metropolitan area, there's like 26 million people. Up here is when you can actually visualize how many people that actually is, you know. Wow, oh, we made it back to the city. The girls are here. When did we reach the top? We, guys, we, we were at the top four Dying. hours ago. Oh my god. Wow, I actually forgot. I slept from the vortex. <laughs> and now we've got the Korean Chipotle for our first of two dinners. Because we know we'll need it. <laughs> this is very tasty food. The hike was really worth it. Very painful at some points. <laughs> This is our, we just, little, little, we just switched hotels after the hike and wow, <laughs> this think, view. I love that we have a view of you, Young Silk down there. We've been moving hotels quite a lot on this trip, which I think is nice because we get to see all the different neighborhoods because Seoul is very spread out. <laughs> this is insane. I love all the intentional leaking. So we're about to try our first being so F. <laughs> First bingsu and a very famous Korean dessert. When wow. he makes his face. Oscar's <laughs> gonna love it. Oh my god, pistachio. It's shaved ice. Shaved. Oh, that's so not the consistency I was expecting. Really good. So last night we were out for dinner with our friend Inyop here in Taiwan. We discovered an amazing new Korean vegan restaurant called Alfie. Oh wow. This more food coming in. It looks so good. Wow. So yeah, we just discovered so many delicious things. This vegetable and beef japchae, the black bean noodles. So much good stuff. So we decided to dig in before we move to our last new part of this trip. And yesterday we all were at the same time saying that we need to come back to this restaurant instantly because yeah. it was so good. <laughs> These are so good. Black bean noodles. Aesthetic. <laughs> the food was so good. Come here and try it. <laughs> And the first thing we're doing is doing, oh my god, now my brain is not breathing. We're doing a notabang, which is a karaoke. And we set ourselves a challenge because just singing is not as fun as trying to sing with an accent. <laughs> so we're gonna try to sing one. We definitely want to include this in the video for a million reasons. Copyright, us sounding terrible, but we thought <laughs> maybe Scottish, Scottish, maybe German. I don't know, many others. So it's gonna be really fun, I think. Guys, guess what this book is? This is the book of songs they have to choose from. We have to choose them now? No, no, no. We enter this number. The number. No. See, see how many Wait. songs they have. No. No, we can make Radio this a Gaga. We could totally yeah. make this a ruler. No shoes. We all know that you sing better without the shoes on. We're connected to the earth. So welcome to our crib. The smell. It's very special. Wow. That's where the magic happens. Oh my. Yeah, we need to turn off the lights. There's all kinds of stinking in here. It is. It actually. really is. Cool. <laughs> just made it to one of the most iconic cafes in Seoul that started the trend all over the world. One of the first 2D cafes and it's pretty fun. And I'm so excited to drink because it's so hot. Yeah. Oh. Wow. 
This is such a cool and trippy place. I think my favorite is all the chairs because it really looks like they're part of the background. Like they really melt into it. Oh, I love this. Yum. Oh, that's cute. With the 3D. Oh, this is sweet. I love how I'm holding on for my dear life. See, it looks so... I think this is the thing I love the most about Seoul or about South Korea in general is that there's so much creativity going on here. Like they have such a fresh take on everything from interior design to fashion and everything like that. And it's just, uh, it's really cool. On our way from one cafe to another, we stopped by the beautiful Gyeongbokgung Palace, which housed the Korean royal family until the Japanese occupation in 1990. Cafe day. We're on cafe number two in the span of a couple of hours. This time we went across the city to go back to another one of our favorite cafes from this trip, Noodle Dumb Space. Everything is so sweet. <laughs> so it's great for us Americans. Mainly it's great because it's so aesthetic. Ew. I want to show you. I didn't. No, I didn't touch it. Yeah, oh shit, that is mine. You touched it again. I just watched my. Touched it it's very hard to estimate the distance with the wide angle. This place is so good. They have these croffles, which are croissant waffles. Cro waffles. Croissant waffles with like peanut cream on them. So good. So nutty. I could have one every day for the rest of my life. The Starfield Library Mall is like one of the top sites, or it's become one of the top sites in Seoul. Now we're in Gangnam, and I mean, it is really, really cool. When you get up close, you'll notice that pretty much all the titles are in Korean. So unless you can read Korean, you won't really find much reading to do here. Pretty much all the English titles are fake. <laughs> They're just stationary decorative pieces. You're getting the hot. Merry Magic Love Chain. <laughs> One of the stops you have to make in Seoul, I think, uh, to learn more about the history of the Korean Peninsula and everything that's led to the division between North and South is the Korean War Memorial. Uh, and I remember from the time when we were living here that I really love going to this museum. I don't necessarily love going to museums usually, I have to admit, but like going here, it was just such an enlightening and enriching experience somehow. And so under each one of these flags, you can see exactly what the country contributed to the South during the war. So it's like listed, you know, on here there's New Zealand, for example, so it says total participants, 7,000, wounded in action, 81, etc. This is about what Sweden contributed in the war between uh, South and North Korea. Yes, And exactly. it's in, I was quite surprised. We haven't learned much about what Sweden contributed with. So this is quite interesting, especially given how many we had. I mean, compared yeah, to... quite a lot. Compared to Germany. Compared to Germany. Not to shit on Germany, but what the <laughs> hell? And I find that statue over there that we saw in the beginning, the Every single facial expression from the small kids, dying old people to the men and women who fought in the war. I don't know, I haven't seen anything quite this emotionally loaded and I was kind of expecting a bit more anger, but I'm really blown away by all the love that you see behind this woman. Hmm. Wow. I really, really like it. A lot of respect for the site, to be honest. <laughs> Oh my god, the US though. Unfortunately, even in IB, higher level history, we didn't learn pretty much anything about the Korean War, which I wish we had because it's such a big thing in the US. And now I understand why. This war memorial really is one of the most moving places I can imagine in the world because there's so much emotion here. In many places around the world, war memorials are all about like nation building, about showing a strong nation, resilience, all these kind of things, right? But here, it's a bit more just about the sadness of it all, how incredibly tragic it is that this nation of Korea now is divided all because of 
outside foreign interests. And basically throughout all of Korea's history, there's been outside uh, powers interfering with their politics, interfering with daily life here from, you know, China to Japan and to now having the peninsula be completely divided. Obviously that being very sad, but also that they finally have their own prosperous nation, although it's only the South. Finally, there's no foreign powers ruling here and look at how well they're doing for themselves. No wonder that Korea or South Korea is so proud of what they've accomplished, but also it is incredibly sad. But this has been the fate of the Korean Peninsula. Our obsession of this trip has without a doubt been photo food. It's so cute. This is our what? Like 10? <laughs> no, Probably. I think we're at like 12 yeah, because we've had nine days. Yeah. We only missed one. I counted them this morning. And we made up for it. Yeah. Many times. <laughs> it looks like this, like. The school photo, I can speak English. The school pictures that we never took together because we only met in high school. Oh, so if we met in elementary school, this is what Daniel and I would Not be doing sure. constantly. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm hugging Oscar and not Daniel. <laughs> what do you have to say about this one? I think this is the best you've ever looked. <laughs> I prefer you in a lamp hat. <laughs> Bibimbap was our first meal, and now it's our last. I'm happiness. <laughs> You've got the hang of it. And then it was time to say goodbye to Kaisa and Amira. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, so sad. So sad. And after that, it was time to say goodbye to Korea as well. But we know for sure that it was a see you later and not a farewell. We can't wait to come back to Korea next year and explore even more of this fascinating country we called home for four months. There is so much to explore here, from the delicious food and the beautiful nature to the modern bustling city life and the rich ancient history. Thank you so much for having us back, Korea. And thank you to you guys for watching. 감사합니다, 사랑해요, and 안녕히 계세요. Until we see you in our next video from country 93 of the Philippines, see you around the world.